What's up guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Hey guys, real quickly, I just want to go ahead and shout out my brother's YouTube channel. He makes very cool Fortnite videos. I'm not sure about Fortnite, but if you love Fortnite, then you will love his videos. Also, stay towards the end because I do have some information for the Black Lives Matter movement. Thank you. So for today's video, as you can tell by the title, it will be a lock pamper routine. Like how you treat your locks, how you reward them, how you clean them, how you wash them, how you nourish them, how you give them life, you know? They keep them healthy. This is that routine, guys. For today's video, we're going to do is wash our hair and then we're going to do a peppermint oil hair mask. Um, I've never done one of these before, but this is what it is. And today we'll be washing our hair with something I've never used on my hair before. We'll be using Dr. Barner's 18 in 1 Hemp Peppermint Pure Castile, Cast Castile Soap, whatever it's called. Yeah, the pure cast out soap this um soap has so many benefits look it up i will probably like put like a thing right here of all the benefits you can wash your hair with it you can use toothpaste you can mop the floor you can use this literal this soap for literally everything it's an 18 in one wash your body i've been using it for my skincare and i just started for like two days so it's not you know you're not gonna see immediate results i'm sure but i really like the way it makes me feel it's very cooling on my skin so i'm gonna try this today on my hair we'll see how that works and then after we're done taking care of our locks and washing all of the hair mess and everything out the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some like braids and twists to get me some curls going because i graduate this saturday i don't know how that's relevant because it's online but you get it so just want to look cute for that day just for a little bit but yeah that's what we're gonna be doing and the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to unravel this retwist that I have. As you can see, like it's sort of already unraveled, but right here, these areas, we're just gonna make sure all of that is unraveled. And I'm a little scared for this. I'm scared for my twist right here. I'm gonna be very gentle with washing it, but yeah, I don't know how that will coincide me twisting up my, my hair or something. I might just leave it alone. I think that's what I'm gonna do, so. But um, yeah, the first thing we're gonna do is just get started with unraveling this reese and let me show you guys how I do it. This is a very thin lock as well. I'm thinking about um, combining this one as well because it really needs to be. And I'm scared it's gonna like fall out, but. There you go. And that's how I unravel it. You see all that reese dirt and grime. But that's really just the stuff I use for my edges. That's all that, but you wanna make sure you just unravel that so all that stuff can come out. So that's the basis of how I like to unravel my retwist. That is gross. Okay, that's gross. explained this already but the benefits of unraveling your retwist is that so when you wash your hair you're not pushing that dirt and grime or whatever you use to retwist your hair or sweat it's like retwisted into your hair you do not want to just rinse that throughout your lock because it will stay in your lock and that will cause buildup so I'm not hating I'm just telling you show you guys what it basically is looking like right now pretty much all unraveled at the roots so we can work in and clean them out yep <laughs> all right and I didn't tell you guys what um I will be using the shampoo, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. What I'm gonna do is have some, I'm gonna let some of this water out and add it way too much. And just like have enough water to like right here. 
and then the rest of it will be the shampoo and i'm just going to use this spray bottle to shake it up and to shake it up and everything and then once i get in the shower i will take the cap off and just like or i could spray it at the same time it depends on what i feel like doing now about this hair mask this is a deep cleansing hair mask guys so it's for your, to cool your scalp and just in case you're just to keep your scalp from being irritated and it's just going to deeply clean your scalp and your strands and give you a good enough moisture that it doesn't weigh your hair down so you never want to do a hair mask on dirty hair that's why we're going to wash our hair first and then we're going to put the hair mask on and then rinse it out in eight minutes it says only need to do it for seven minutes but i might do 10 minutes we'll see just so i can get that deep clean so so yeah that's the plan so let's go ahead and hop in the shower Okay, so I've waited long enough. My hair should be dry enough to start the braid. So we're just going ahead and get started. It may look a little white because I do have gray hairs. So that's why, but I made sure to get everything out. I have a braiding tutorial already on my channel. So you guys can go check that one out. It's very old, but I'm pretty much gonna do the same techniques. Um, it's kind of tricky when you're doing braids because I have, because every braid strand is three and I have 74 locks so actually i have 73 locks so i think that'll work out but if not we're gonna have to do some twists so let's get started <laughs> tutorial this is just a pamper routine so you guys pretty much get the gist but I'm gonna do that all around my hair with all of my locks so yeah <laughs> so this is how the braids are looking um, nothing too spectacular I did have to like twist up one of them I'm back because it wasn't enough room leave this in for like a little bit and then once i take it out you guys will be seeing it and then i'll think i'm gonna show you guys how it looks once it drops i'm not sure but we'll see <laughs> i'll see you guys once i take these out So it's like a couple days later and the curls have fallen. This is how I like it best. I do not like the tight noodley curls. It's just not for me. But 
it did turn out right of course yeah these are the results hope you guys can see how nourished my locks are looking from the wash from the deep conditioner but yeah this is my lock pamper routine i really hope you guys enjoyed it i do really quickly guys i do want to go ahead and pay my tributes to george floyd and all of the black lives that we have lost not only just this year but in the past years we need justice so i'm gonna leave some petitions you guys can sign down below and also some gofundmes where you can donate and everything you know our people need justice and this is where we're gonna get it from it's all gonna be worth it in the end if you all just do your part and help out the black community this is very serious and nothing will change if you just sit back and do nothing so that's my take on that i really hope you guys enjoyed the video please be sure to leave a like comment down below any other suggestions that you may have thank you guys so much for watching and